sakit! Hello, people of the interwebs. This is Jeff with Pack Geek. Got a little bit different episode today. This, uh, I'm gonna call this the Pack Geek Guide to Winning Friends and Influencing People on Twitter. And this is basically, if you're trying to build a Twitter following of some sort, and many of you are, these are things that have kind of worked for me along the way. Now granted, I don't have three billion followers, but I've got a lot and I've built, built the following quite a bit over the last two years. So these are just a few things that I've come across that I thought worked or didn't work. And uh, here we go. Number one, give value. So the idea here is just to, to not just promote your stuff on your page. Uh, I, I've seen people that literally their entire uh, Twitter stream is just their eBay sales or just their web episodes or whatever it might be. Have, have some, other, some other content, like diversify. Don't make it just everything be a sales piece. Number two, the friend unfriend. Now this is like one of the most annoying practices I've seen on social media. Um, this is where someone comes along and they start following you, if we're talking Twitter, and you follow them back and the moment they follow you back, they unfollow you, hoping you don't see that they unfollowed you. So you're helping their ratio of followers to uh, people they're following. And you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. We've all dealt with this. It is incredibly annoying. I feel like it's, it's kind of a backstabber move. And, and it, I know there's like services out there that will do this for you. I discourage you from doing that or using those services because it's just, it's an ugly way to build a following and, and these are people who trust you and you're immediately losing their trust when you do stuff like that. Uh, number three, tagging people that have nothing to do with your post. I don't think this is a, a, good, uh, a good way to increase the traffic on your post. I had to learn this um, and the reason being, if I post let's say I'm promoting episode number 100 of Pack Geek, and I tag a bunch of people in the post who have nothing to do with the episode. They aren't guests on the episode, they aren't, their product isn't featured in the episode, there's nothing, there's no relation, they just have a big following, so I'm hoping they retweet it. Well, anytime someone replies to this post, or retweets it, or any of that stuff, they get all these notifications, so we're basically bogging down their stream with what is a promotional piece for me. I, I feel like it's a bad practice. So I've stopped doing it. Um, there's some ways around it, like, anyways, figure it out. I just, I recommend not tagging people in your post that have nothing to do with it, that you're just hoping share your post. Number four, promoting your own content on someone else's promotional post. This kind of goes, uh, this kind of runs parallel with the last one. So, Something I see a lot of people do, again, we'll use an example of, of like one of my posts. If I were to post, hey guys, uh, Pack Geek episode number 100 just came out and I hope you go check it out and here's the link to it. And then two posts down, someone's like, hey, I'm also releasing episode number 100 from my series, go check it out and put a link to that episode. Like, cool, I get it, you see, like people are looking at this, we wanna put our own stuff in there and get it promoted, but you're basically piggybacking my marketing with your marketing. It's the equivalent of putting like your poster on someone else's billboard. Like, don't do that, have your own stuff. Like, it's bad practice, again. All right, number five. When asking someone to subscribe to your series or your page or whatever it is, use some tact. Like, for instance, I have a recent message. Um, I think it's, it's, first off, I think it's in poor taste to, to mass message people about your stuff. Like if you're going to ask them a favor, personalize it, put their name in there, talk about something you like about their page, and then maybe the request. So I'm not gonna give this person's name, but um, here, here's what the message said. And this was definitely a mass message because there's no identifiers in here as to who it's going to, but it's, hey, 
Could you please subscribe to my YouTube channel? It focuses on opening baseball card packs, blank. Um, here's the link to it. Thank you. Okay, it was polite, but it's, it's a mass message. I, I, if, even if you just say, hey, Jeff, I would love for you to check out my page. If you like it, subscribe. I'd be a lot more likely to than somebody just saying, hey, here's my link, subscribe to it. Like, I haven't even seen it. There are thousands of baseball card channels out there. Like, I can't promise you I'm going to subscribe, but you know, I'll, I'll check it out at least. But I, I feel like it's a little pushy. So use some tack, give some value. Maybe, I don't know. There, there's some way to ease into that request. Don't just go straight at someone you've never, you've never talked to before and ask them for something. It's a bad move. Okay, number six, keep things positive and fun. At the end of the day, guys, this is a hobby. So if your entire Twitter stream is, is complaints, you're gonna turn some people off. Like granted, life throws some curveballs at you. I get it, like post whatever you want. These are just my own thoughts and recommendations and what I feel like worked for me. Don't threaten to leave the hobby unless you're actually going to and and ultimately like you don't want your twitter page to be full of drama keep it upbeat keep it happy again this is a hobby people people are doing this because it's an escape from the drama you know i i don't want to think about my work when i'm when i'm dealing with baseball cards like this is this is an escape this is fun let's keep it that way number seven create original content you don't want your page to just be a retweet machine. If I click on your page and it's just all retweets, I'm gonna think that that's, that's kind of what this person is offering. There isn't really anything original here. Like just share a little, put some of your own stuff on there. I feel like it goes a long way, but it, you don't want to just have all retweets. There's no originality there. Number eight, this one's an easy one, but, it, but it's overlooked a lot. Show cards, that's it, show cards. People, people in the hobby love to see cards. Whatever sport it is, whatever athlete it is, whatever insert or set it is, just show some cards and talk about them. Like, why do you love this hobby? Like, use that as a, a foundation for a couple of posts of yours. Um, what's your favorite card? Who's your favorite player? How'd you get started collecting? These are simple ways to show cards because card content goes a long way. Some of my my most liked, um, some of the posts that get the most traction are are just posts where I'm showing a card. Whether it's valuable or not, it's just something that, that has a story behind it or has significance to me. People like that stuff. Number nine, post pictures of yourself. I, I like this. Uh, it, it's nice for people to put a, a face with the with the screen name. Um, it, otherwise, you're, you're just this kind of mysterious person that uh, has a handle, but we don't really know anything about you. And I feel like it's nice to know kind of who you're interacting with. Uh, you know, what they look like helps just because you, at least I love to have a face with a name, so I, I kind of remember who this person is, what they look like if we're going to shows, maybe I'll, I'll know if I actually see them at the national or see them at a local show or whatever it is. I, that's, that's your call, it is the internet. There are a lot of crazy people out there and I, understand, I kind of understand not wanting to show your face, but again, if you're looking to build a following, I feel like that helps a lot. Uh, number 10, this is the end of the list. This is another simple one, but be real. Be who you are. And it, it's easier for people to relate to you if you come across sincere. If, again, if we've never seen your face, if all we have is this real clever handle that you're using and we don't know anything about you, it, it's hard to relate to you. It's hard to want to engage with you. It's hard to want to follow your stuff uh, because we don't know anything about you. It, it's fun to know who we're dealing with. So uh, that is my list of the top 10 ways to win friends and influence people on Twitter, guys. Thanks for listening to this rant. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out another episode. Make sure to subscribe to Pack Geek on YouTube. Also check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks. Pack Geek.